for someone to, you know, to use that type of weapon on a 70 year old woman. Come on. A 41 Action News exclusive tonight in what's quickly becoming a national news story. Newly unsealed court documents reveal the weapon that was used to kill a great grandmother in Portland. The two suspects are from Kansas City. Our Shannon Halligan spoke exclusively with a family member about the new details in this case. Well, these are the newly released documents, and it describes the murder weapon, two differing stories, and a possible motive. But a family member I talked to exclusively says they prove her grandson's innocence. New court documents show 71-year-old Jacqueline Bell may have been murdered by a sledgehammer in her Oregon home. The suspect's two teens from the Kansas City area, one her great-grandson, Joda Kane. Kane's grandmother, Rusty, sat down with 41 Action News. And Bell was her mother-in-law, and she knew her for 40 years. We all suffered a loss, and Joda really suffered a loss because he really did love her. Rusty thinks this arrest record helps her grandson. Kane and another friend told police they were downstairs when they heard someone screaming. But the other suspect, Micah Ward, Kane's cousin on his father's side, had another story. He said it was Kane who woke him up to ride in his great grandmother's car. And the guy that was sleeping also seen Joda running up the stairs when they heard the noise. So, how did that have to do with the ride? That doesn't even make any sense. Ward also told investigators Kane sent him a text message days earlier saying his grandmother was worth $7 million and wants her dead. Joda's been going down there since she was four. There's no, Jackie would have given Joda anything, and she did. So Joda didn't want for nothing. Kane pleaded not guilty at a court date in October, and his grandmother wants whoever's responsible to pay. I love Jackie, and I do want you know, her murderer to stay in jail forever. And Kane's family is planning to go to Oregon this week, and the next court date has not been set. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.